one verse. But Abraham said, Son, remember that in thy lifetime receiveth thy good thing, and likewise Lazarus evil thing. But now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. And uh, the thought that got in my mind is just one word out of the 25th verse, the first clause. But Abraham said, son, remember that in thy lifetime, I want to talk about remember. Amen, remember. Uh, remember. Now, we got to understand that Jesus is the speaker of this text. And uh, he's not just uh, speaking just to be speaking, but he, he gives this uh, parable illustration for a special purpose, uh, for a reason. If you notice, uh, in this book of Luke, uh, a few chapters prior to this particular chapter, 16 chapter, Jesus deal with parables. And uh, it is said that a parable is an earthly sin with a heavenly meaning. Uh, he, he talks about something that we know about. It's a comparison with heavenly things. Uh, he, he's given these illustrations, these parables, in order for us to know how heaven is like and, and what it takes to get there. In, 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 I'm looking at Abraham here now. Uh, after that, uh, Lazarus had died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. But that somebody had, that had been on earth that had overlooked Lazarus, like a lot of you do today, and think nothing of it. Just overlook people and know what you're doing. And, and, and so the Bible said after Lazarus had died, Soon after the rich man died, also. So, so don't, 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 don't let you can't be braggadocious because you outlive somebody else. Hello, somebody. Because sooner or later you're going to go that way, also. So, the Bible says the rich man died, also. But something else happened. That was a conjunction, Mike. It said, But in hell, he lifted up his eyes. You know, it was always too late. And, and, and the Bible says in hell, he lifted up his eyes. That means he wasn't looking down, but he was looking up. And when he looked up, he saw something far off. He saw something that he had been ignoring all his life. Passing by ignoring. But he saw something. When he looked up, the Bible says he saw Lazarus. The one that had been passing by every day, uh, amen, in his richness. The Bible says he fared sumptuously every day in his fine linen, his purple. He strutted it down the street. Uh, let me use my imagination, along the sidewalk. They didn't have none there, you know, on gas. They may have had some brick sidewalk. But he overlooked Lazarus. But now at this point in time, the Bible said that after Lazarus died, he died. Uh, uh, Lazarus was carried away by the angels in two. Abraham bosom. So you can keep on overlooking people if you want. You can ignore them and, and stick your chest out. But that's why it's going to be just like letting the air out of the balloon. You're going to go down. He had, uh, the rich man had been passing Lazarus every day. I'm going to say again, just like most of us. You pass by people and snore at them because you think you're better. You know more. You have more. Amen. You got a better home, better automobile, better bank account. But that won't last. Hello, somebody. The rich man died also. 
But in hell, he lifted up his eyes. And he saw Lazarus of Pharaoh in Abraham's bosom. And when he saw him, he cried unto Abraham and said, Father Abraham, send Lazarus that he may dip. Don't bring me a cup or a glass, but just dip. Just the tip of his finger in water. Now, what a, what a dip going to do in the scorching flame? Amen. The firefighters, they fight fire with a whole lot of water and can't put it out. Hello, somebody. You, you, you see those four, four uh, five, uh, five, five fighters died the other day? They were putting water on a fire. But they couldn't put it out at that time. So now here, here's the rich man telling Abraham sent Lazarus that he just made dip the tip of his finger in water and, and cool. He said his tongue was scorching. But I like what Abraham said, and I won't say it to you all today. He said, son, remember. Some people got bad memories. Some people can't remember. <laughs> Thank you, daughter. Thank you, daughter. Some people can't, my mother said, can't remember the, uh, they can't, well, they, 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 they can't remember anything. They just can't remember. They got bad memory. You, you tell them something this moment, next moment, when they turn around, they don't forget about what you say. They forget about the good thing you do for them. So Abraham said, son, remember thou in your lifetime. Well, what is memory? Mem memory is, is, is to, to, to recall to mind an act of effort of memory is to think again about something. You know, she so say, well, you know, so, so you think, well, let me see, let me think. And she can I remember. You pulling back the files in your mind, flipping pages in your mind, in your computer, the computer of your mind trying to tap into your memory. <laughs> Amen, trying to get the code to bring back something that you once knew about. So Abraham said, son, remember that in your life, to think back. And what I'm trying to say to you today, you need to start thinking now. Because after a while, it's going to be too late. Amen, amen. When you go to hell, it's too late to remember then. The father Abraham sent ladder that he might dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my scorching tongue for I am tormented in this flame. You, most of you living good now. You, you, amen. Everything is all right. But you do you not know this life going to come to an end? It, 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 the Bible says one generation passes and another one coming. And you can see it all around you now. There's somebody leaving here as well as some, somebody coming here. And your name is on the road to leave here. You don't know when, where, how. And you need to start remembering, Lord, what have I done? Have I helped someone today as I travel a long life way? What have I done? Have I mistreated somebody along the way? Lord, what have I? You need to think about it now. You need, you, you need to think about it now. Don't wait until you, you, you think you're better than somebody and look at them crazy. You know you're looking at people crazy. But the day going to come, the Lord going to say, remember <laughs> how you treated Kendall. That's all you got to do, just remember. It, it ain't going to help you now, but just remember. It's too late now, but just remember. What I'm trying to tell you, you need to start remembering now. It, it, somebody say how you live now will determine your hereafter. You, you don't have to wonder about where you're going. Just think about how you are living right now. And, and, and you can determine your destination. Am I right about it? All you got to do is just start thinking along life highway. The rich man said, now Abraham, if you don't let Lazarus come, 
and dip his finger in water and cool my scorching tongue. Send him back home. I got five brothers back there that they need to know what's happening. Down here in hell, they don't need to come here where I am because they got the same old attitude that I had. And I won't let them know if they don't change the way they're thinking. They will wind up in the same condition that I'm in. What I'm trying to tell you, Elbetha, it's time now for you to start thinking and remember who you are and what you are, what you're doing and what you should be doing. Father Abraham sent Lazarus back, and yeah, yeah, and let him tell my brother what's going on. Abraham said, no, there's a guff fix. No one can come to us, and no one can go to you. It's fixed like that. You had a chance to visit with Lazarus, you passed him by. Every day, riding your chariot, yeah, you dress in sumptuously. Every day, you put on your fine linen, and then you strut it by ladder. You saw him in pain and in agony, but you refused to offer him a helping hand. And look at you now, and now. Ladder is confident in my bosom. Good God Almighty. So, well, now, if you won't send Ladder back, yeah, I heard Abraham said, too late, I can't send him back. They have the prophet, they have Moses back there. Let them hear them. If they don't hear those that are already there, they neither will they hear one that come from the dead. If a dead man, if a man walk down his eyes and say, El Doctor, I want to tell you one thing. Straighten up and get right with God. Because I've been to hell. You say there's a crazy man. You wouldn't believe him. Yeah. So Abraham said they got Moses and they got the prophet back there. Let them hear him, hear them. If they don't hear them, neither will they hear one that come from the dead. I'm here today trying to tell you that hell is real. Jesus said that hell is real. You need to start remembering how you're walking. You need to start remembering how you're talking them. You need to start remembering them how you're treating your loved one. You need to start remembering them how you treat your friend. You need to start remembering how you're treating one another. Good God Almighty. Because how you live now will determine your hair after. Good God Almighty. It will determine your destination. Go ahead with your head lifted high. Good God Almighty. God will bring that head down. I'm so glad, so glad I decided to make Jesus my sword. Road get rough, he'll get high to climb, but I decided to make Jesus my sword. After a while, by and by, this old warfare will soon be over. I'm making preparation. Good God Almighty, I have a determination to see Jesus when I die. After a while, by and by, this whole warfare will soon be over. How many of you believe that? How many of you know that? You need to start recalling your memory and see what you've done 
in your lifetime. Look back over your life. And, amen. And find out who you've been mistreating. Good God Almighty, straighten up while you have a chance. Because after a while, by and by, it will soon be over. All over. After a while, by and by. I heard my mother say, I'm getting ready. Every day of my life, I'm packing up. I got my suitcase. I'm putting in piece by piece. After a while, my suitcase will be full. Yeah, I'm going home to be with Jesus, to live forevermore. So glad, so glad, so glad. Jesus, he paid it all, and all to him I owe. He paid the debt for your sin and for my sin on the hill that's called Calvary. God got to heal. Good God Almighty, he paid the debt over 2,000 years ago. They called him everything but a child of God. But he went on, the God got the heal. He went on to carry and hung there. Yeah, he hung there. The Bible said from the sixth hour till the ninth hour. Somebody said that he never said a mumbling word. Because he had promised the Father, I'll go down and die for Kendall. I'll go down and die for Miles. I'll go down and die for Clarence. I'll go down and die for Truman. I'll go down for the sins of the world. Good God Almighty. Ain't he all right? I know he's all right. Ain't he all right? <laughs> I know he's all right. He's a friend of mine. He walked with me. He talked with me. He tells me that I'm his own. So glad I know the man from Galilee. If you in sin, God knows he'll set you free. Do you know him? Do you know him? Heard somebody say it. Don't fool me now. Oh yeah. Do you know him? If you're a friend of yours, good God Almighty, after a while, by and by. Remember, remember, remember that after a while, it's going to all be over. Remember, I heard somebody say, you need to run while the sun is shining because the sun is gradually going down. After a while, my evening sun will go down. But I'm glad, I'm glad I got another home over yonder in Beulah Land where the wicked shall see from troubling and the weary shall be at rest. Remember, remember, while the choir sings, there may be one, if you're here, I'm going to ask you to come.